So the resistance is a sign that you are onto something, and that that side of the mind which gravitates more towards keeping your attention on just less important things, on passing things, that side that rises up as resistance, that seems to sabotage or tries to sabotage your opportunity for freedom, you must be aware of it. You see, watch that. And uh, because the trouble is not so much, I was saying yesterday, is not so much in the in the action of something, but in the reaction to it. It's not that something happened. We don't know what's going to happen, but you are tested more in your reaction to it. You see, because the thing reveals in you what is still alive, whether it is good or bad. It, it reveals that, and we should make use of that opportunity. Without the mind coming up, we won't know. We won't recognize that which is really uh, offensive to your heart, you know, and then to observe it. The powers come for you. I say anyone who has spent some time in satsang who, uh, genuinely possess the power to bring a chaotic state of mind back into silence. And we must exercise that, not the right, but the opportunity, that power is there, so that we leave entirely the field of personhood. Thereafter it can come, but it will be much more superficial, much more playful. You need not suffer it. We suffer it when we have strong identity as a person. Then all those qualities, they come. All those um, weaknesses show up only for the person, not for conscious presence, not for this, not for the weakness. Um, less so for the for the weakness, and absolutely not for the absolute. But in the person, the realm of the person. They will taste all this, all this seeming attack. You see, it comes in the early stages, and it will follow your your self inquiry or your invitation, your sadhana, right up for as long as it's allowed to be there. But you must see it now. The intelligent one will see that this is an asset. It gives an opportunity to discover what is functioning as an enemy to your freedom. Rather than just simply to wipe it out and and not feel the the initial um, discomforts, disturbance, the feeling of attack that comes from the psychological mind or mindset. So everything is in your favor. First of all, because you are already the self. You're not going to make a self. We're only simply looking at what is not the self actually. <coughs> <clears throat> you see, so a lot can happen in a day. It is not outside you. <clears throat> and where there is peace, contentment is there. A silence is there. A joy is there. Openness is there. Coming in fearlessness, you see. A natural understanding uh, conviction that you are the uh, you are the formless that come. To discover the formlessness uh, while there is form, that is something tremendous. Because so much of human life is lived uh, with the attention pointing outward through the senses and the mind to have contact with only what is perishable. You see. <clears throat> so to discover uh, satsang, discover, or to turn one's face towards the full discovery of our own nature, our own source, that is already counted as auspicious life. Then to go more deeply into it, so much so that what is not true to you falls away, increased auspiciousness, you see. And 
what remain after that, the mouth cannot speak it. The mind cannot comprehend it. There is a force that wants you to stop short. It seems as though it is. It is not sentient, and it really isn't even apart from the source. It arises from the source. It's very much uh, one of the chief uh, players in this game of existence. <clears throat> it plays through identity. Everyone must taste some identity at first. And we are, we are either going to be pulled towards increasing identity, upgrading identity, or discovering the source of identity. And some of you have been here for some time. After a certain point, you may find that uh, mm, there is a certain degree of peace and uh, joy, spontaneity, and so on. <coughs> you may think of things or people, and they show up. And these these things will bring a lot of confidence. But they are not the goal. That must be remembered. That which is to be discovered does not fluctuate. It is the only thing that does not change, cannot leave, cannot even come. It is always here. When you know that, nothing can stand against that. If we experience some of the joys of awakening, and and settle for this, almost like something presses pause. Say, no, I like, I like to live like this. Then your life will plateau off. This, but the work is not done. Everything has to come back to zero. Meaning, the faith, the belief in tangible things being of some ultimate reality. That must be seen through. You must find your position, your place, hmm? as that formless awareness in which all things are. Uh, in the dynamic world, everything is seen to be moving in some harmony. You will see this. You will not be deeply concerned about that. And yet compassion is there. All this is that love can have a stage to act itself out. And that wisdom can flourish and express its divine power. What falls off must stay off. Some things will drop away. Don't celebrate too early about them. They will come back, some, but not with that same force. If you abide in the place that you are discovering, um, you are loyal to it, you are faithful to it, you honour it, you recognise the importance of it, mm, you will not have the sense that it leaves you. It cannot leave, of course. That is why I say you cannot have the sense that it leaves you. But if our, if our support, if our foundation is built inside the, the body-mind person, then we are already on, on stable ground. Because the nature of that realm of the body-mind, it fluctuates all the time. So find yourself in the place hmm, of that Timeless here, in front of whom even the functioning of perception is also perceived. But it's not watching any movie. It's not watching movie. It does not need to turn to left or right. And yet, not even the movement of one atom moves without its will. You will come to know that, not by study. You cannot know it by study. Yeah. 
when 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 the arrogance of outer knowledge falls away or is melting into that heart you come to know some things just spontaneously you don't know how you know the unstudied knowledge or let's not say even knowledge unstudied knowingness you see so just stay with that that is the power of this that you know we are not moving from book to book but that you recognize the main point and the main position and anchor yourself in that not by force sometimes little force sometimes we must be uh, not too slack with the mind not give it too much space sometimes you must hold it must be a bit strict about the way you know the attention is pulled about and just keep recognizing even rather than holding the attention in anything just recognize that even <clears throat> the movement of attention is perceivable that's a significant uh, thing that even the movement of attention uh, does not denote the self that the movement of attention is also perceived if you understand this then you are in the unshakable place but stay with it once you've found that which is yielding good fruit stay there stay with it merge your identity there that's it simple the wise or intelligent person recognizes and knows that this life must be for freedom use your life for freedom because as you come here you begin to recognize that how much of our lives have been lived in ignorance of the true and under the very very limited um uh, idea of uh, of personhood and not realizing about the um, the the strain the stress of uh, egohood as you begin to discover it then you might feel that you're moving into a domain of turmoil or something because it's as though everything gets stirred up things that were dormant or hidden for some time begin to come to the surface and it may feel oh my gosh this is not what i expected here but you have to understand that by coming here you automatically enter into a field where you are going to be detoxing from and recognizing that uh, you know the the cunningness uh, the the strength of egoic identity and discovering the difference between yourself and the mind the psychological side of the mind you know that is already um the step into you already on on the ladder of freedom you see is knowing this this is why many people they 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 they're surprised as oh my god i i did not know this possibility is here you know to observe to observe and it is so powerful it doesn't uh, no one is exempt from this grace whose heart turns towards it whose 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 face turns towards this no one is left out the invitation also has reached um, <coughs> uh some prisons also or prisoners are writing also people have been in prison for some time i don't want to call them prisoners but they are also discovering you know the power of observation a detached observation and the coming more firmly into focus the the true position uh yeah as the formless observer the formless being and i would say that they are more free than people walking about freely on the street the one who discovers this so if you have reached that point in your life when you know that uh i can't go back i have not saved any bridges behind me everything is for completing this understanding 
And I would not advise anyone even to don't take any sabbatical from the truth. Finish up, you know. Let the rest of this life be lived in freedom. And it will not end in the dropping of this body. <laughs>